I've got my first CO2 laser machine and it comes from Atomstack. Having a CO2 laser machine means that you cut transparent materials, cut straight not in a cone shape, cut in just one pass and cut faster and bigger. This gives me the ability to cut different materials and at faster speeds. This is the Atomstack Hurricane. You see, I have a few projects that require engraving and cutting big pieces of wood or acrylic, as for example the project of the automatic Wicha board. Stay tuned for that, by the way. The entire enclosure will be made out of wood, and also I need to engrave on it, and I said to myself, it's time for a bigger laser engraver, and that's where enters Atom Stack. Let me show you what you can do with the CO2 machine and compare it with the diode laser, show you everything about this beautiful machine and test it out. So, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. This machine is heavy. I mean, it's all made out of metal, which is great, once you find the perfect spot for it. It is also big, measuring 100 by 64 centimeters. I wanted this CO2 engraver first of all for the specs, but also for its beauty. It is a beautiful product. Elegant, made out of metal, compact and with this acrylic on top, it looks great. But the real beauty stays inside here. Inside we have the CO2 tube. And look at that monster. This tube uses CO2 and nitrogen, a lot of electrical power and creates radiation in the form of light. And that laser beam is reflected inside of the machine using mirrors. So it comes from here, to here, to the moving head and then hits the material below. Actually you might need to calibrate it. Here as you can see I'm adjusting the mirror position and the laser dot moves, so you have to move the mirror till the dot is close to the center. The laser tube when at full power will get hot. But on the side of the machine we have this water tank. And we have to add 1 liter of distilled water. It has its own pump and a radiator so it will keep the laser module cool all the time. The printing area is of 500 by 300 millimeters, which is more than enough for me. And below we have this grid mesh, which is very useful as an engraving base. So we can place all the materials on top of it. And below it has a removable tray, so all the small debris will stay here. And that's quite nice. You can't print with the protection lid open. It has two switches here that will stop the process if you open it. And that's a very good safety feature. In my case, I received this machine before the official release. Atomstack told me that they will add a lot more LED lightning inside of the case so we could see a lot better, since the display is a bit opaque and you can barely see inside. And also, please don't engrave with the lid open, I just did that for the video and as always wearing some safety glasses. But never lock the switches and print with the lid open, it is quite dangerous. I do it so you don't have to do it. And there on the back we have the fume extractor. It's just a hole with a fan, but here comes the good part. This machine can also be ordered together with this huge air purifier. Inside we have different layers of filters and even a better extractor. You can select the power of extraction, and for a fume extractor the noise is quite low. You connect it to the machine using this tube and that's it. And this is the best option for those who have a workshop in a closed space and they have no fume extractor. Even myself have a crude fume extractor connected to my air conditioner output and it's just this tube with a turbo fan inside it. So it is a lot better to just have this purifier. It comes with its own support but in my case I've just placed it on the floor. Because it has wheels. Ok so the machine arrives 100% ready. All you have to do is to add the distilled water for the laser and connect it to your PC. It's compatible with Lightburn or the Atomstack Studio, which is free. 
Also, Lightburn gives you 30 days of free trial, so check it out. Place your material below the laser and click the autofocus button. It will automatically focus according to the thickness of your material. And that's so nice and also very fast. Now open any example, select the power and the speed and start engraving. I'll put below this PDF file with all the adjustments. During my test you will see that the lid is open, but have in mind that you should never do that. I do it so I could record the process. By the way, the machine has a camera right here. And you can see it on laser burn as well, with a live feed. And you can calibrate it using this template and select the position of the engraving using the camera for batch printing. That is such a cool feature for fast printing. I was able to cut plywood, MDF, transparent acrylic, some black acrylic, even glass, stone, these metal sheets, plastic, on fabric, leather, cardboard and all sorts of materials. Now let's check some examples. I've started with this MDF of 2.5mm. I've cut this phone support in less than 2 minutes. Just merge them together and you've got yourself a phone holder with a charging slot. Such a fast process. And from the same MDF I've also cut this cube in around 4 minutes, because this one has a lot of small details. Once cut, just assemble it and you've got some nice details for your home. And the cut is very clean and precise. I've also done some tests with plywood as well, and this type of wood is cut even faster. I mean the CO2 laser is of 55 watts, which is an incredible amount of power. I then started making the test for my Weha board. It's quite big, but that's not a problem for this machine. We cut the board with 70% power and engrave on it with only 20% power. And it looks promising. This project will use some very small stepper motors and some magnets to move the Weha lens. And like that we make it look like this is a possessed board. But anyway, it should be a cool project, so please stay tuned for that. I've also made some tests with acrylic to get used to the power and speed parameters. Too much power could melt it and too low power won't cut it. After a few tests I was able to cut a circle out of this all transparent acrylic. Then I've used the correct settings and cut another circle in just 20 seconds. And using the same material I vectorized and engraved my logo. I also cut the perimeter and I ended up with this logo. But this was an old and scratch acrylic so I've bought some new boards. On this board I've cut this lamp of the Millennium Falcon. We cut it with 50% power and engrave on it with only 15% power. And it looks great. You can place a light below it and it looks so cool. I've also cut this translucent black acrylic and made this other design. Once again you can place some LEDs below and you've got a nice futuristic lamp. I've made the test on this metal sheet as well. And the result is very good and you have to engrave this at low power something around only 5%. And the same for this white fabric. At first the power was too high at only 10%. I've lowered it to 5% and it was still too high. 3% of power gives me a good result, so I've engraved my logo on this white fabric. You can also engrave on stone, rocks, concrete and so on. I've made my logo on this stone cup holder and it turned out quite well. Actually it was only at 15% power. Imagine blasting this at 100% power. It would engrave some serious depth on it. And you can also cut glass. Well I mean glass mirror. I had to make a few attempts but I was finally able to cut a glass circle. And now because I have the setting saved I can do it again. And that's so cool. I then wanted to cut some thick wood. The conglomerate wood was cut in only 2 or 3 passes, without any problems. And this is 9mm thick. 
but for the MDF, the fire alarm was jumping all the time. But as mentioned in this document that you have below, for MDF we disable the alarm and with this speed and power settings, we can easily cut MDF. So anyway, the power of this machine will cut thick wood like butter. So basically you can cut or engrave on all sorts of materials. I have to mention that this is not the final product that you will get on the market. The final one will also have the required warnings on the laser, it will have a water level indicator, and in overall the frame will be better made and safer. The machine has an automatic fire extinguisher input here. I don't have it connected, but you can connect it to water spray and it will stop the fire in any case. An extra you can also order the holder. You assemble this extra case and you have more space below the machine for bigger objects or make a pass through where the object is passing through the machine in case of longer objects like this piece of wood here for example. You have the signal colors labeled here. And the USB cable and the pen drive input is on the side. We have a main power switch and a safety button and a key, so if you have kids you can make sure that they won't turn it on. I like how the lid has these spring-loaded telescopes that make the open process so smooth. And remember that together with the air purifier and the extra metal support, you can have a cool new machine for any workshop, especially if you are in the business. I'm glad I finally have a CO2 machine and I can't wait to make more projects with it. I hope this video gives you an idea of this machine, in case that you want to buy one as well. The links will be below as always. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended, I hope that you like it. And the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons. To you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below. Uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts. All this kind of stuff will support my channel. So thank you very much once again.